as FG official is assassinated by unidentified gunmen. Oh wow. Another day, another attack in the southern region of Nigeria as Enugu State becomes the latest center of violence. Professor Sam Nolundubisi, the director general of a national agency, met his untimely death at the hands of suspected assassins on Wednesday, the 7th of July. Undubisi was killed around 4 p.m. alongside his police orderly on the Port Harcourt Express Road, Enugu State. A report by the Punch indicates that Professor Samuel Undubisi, the Director General, Science and Equipment Development Institute, has been shot dead by unknown gunmen in Enugu State. The deceased was killed on the Port Harcourt Express Road, Enugu, around 4 p.m. while reportedly on his way, on his way home. Undubisi's death was confirmed by Daniel Undukwe, the Enugu State Police Command spokesman. He noted that the information surrounding the incident was still sketchy. In another report the nation, by, by the nation, the driver of the vehicle sustained a gunshot or gunshot injuries and has been taken to the hospital for treatment. It was gathered that the Enugu State Governor Ifai Ugwai, um visited the scene according to the report the car riddled with several bullet holes was driven into the gutter as of the time of filling this report or filing this report the reason for the attack has not yet been established as nothing was taken from the vehicle or its occupants but it's so strange because when it was gulag's time um when he was attacked and killed by bandits in a few hours the intelligence team they'd already got in the reports in fact think they'd already killed the actual quote unknown gunmen that apparently killed the man so i'm like okay so what is the excuse as to why they haven't done the investigation and what the cause of his death is and why the intentions were there for these unknown gunmen to kill him exactly exactly somebody here says may the soul of the departed rest in peace by god's grace the people responsible for this act of terror will be brought to justice all this reminds me of the random bombing and killing in Lagos during Abacha's regime and was tagged to Nadeko. I strongly believe it's a plot to destabilize the Southeast as they simply tagged these unknown gunmen, IPOP, but God Almighty will surely expose their evil agenda against the Eagles. This government should remember that nothing lasts forever. Oh, wow. Okay, so it is either they need this they need his position for someone that is loyal to them or he was already working for them and knew too much so they have to shut him up using assassins unknown gunmen sound like sound sketchy and gives room for speculation they are smart and they control the media Ooh, all right um i guess this makes sense um again it, this now goes into the whole into the whole conversation of the title unknown gunmen we've had this title for how many months now unknown gunmen these men are still unknown and um i just think that just gives room for speculation as this person has said because it then leaves the audience the citizens to then fill in the gap of who the unknown gunmen are and of course this then leads to you know fewer rumors that the that the unknown gunmen are asn or they're bandits from this place we do not know and i think that is just like it's just so sad i i don't even know how to describe it like i don't know if i should call it like an intelligent tactic to absolve someone from the blame or to absolve the government from actually doing anything because to them they still do not know who these men are but it's it's so confusing hmm. um but someone says lord they th thought unknown government were said to be dss but then the DSS are a secret police, so again, they don't really have a uniform or anything. We just know that it exists, so it could be them. I don't know. Uh, somebody says this is the hand of, <laughs> this is the handbook of the DSS. Period. Okay. So says, so this means that there is no place to be saved in Nigeria, and the north is the most unrest place where bush terrorists and kidnappers lead. Right. Um. So says so this BFR people will not rest. Oh God, this BFR people will not rest until they finish all their people at the helm of affairs. I learned that most of the policemen killed by them are mostly Igbo people. They continue destroying the East even before the war. 
you are calling for what did we ask and again i think that just for contextual purposes when it comes to people supporting the government the demography that seems to be consistent in supporting all these that go on and being on the side of the government and unknown government is mostly northerners because of their name it's like easily identifiable and you just know this is for context not to be tribalistic or anything but they are the ones who are supporting all this and it's just so sad because it's like where your opinion was actually needed for issues that actually made sense and uh, issues that you know were just logical to see that it was wrong it was quiet and crickets fem pem nothing there was no silence the, the north was as, as quiet but now when it comes to this and de defending your oppressors everyone now has an opinion and everyone is shouting and doing the most no one asked Mm. um unknown gunmen soon they'll be known it's annoying because again it's like really unknown gunmen unknown gun you see they use unknown gunmen for people that they don't they don't care about um they use unknown gunmen for people that they cannot be bothered to go and start an investigation and unknown gunmen because they'll use that term because they really they just don't care but if it's something that would benefit them in terms of let's say, let's say the investigation will make the government look good um or to make sure that there isn't an uprising in terms of you know pleasing their Fulani masters. Um, then they there'd be an investigation, and you know they they know the details, even the family tree of whoever is a suspect or or a criminal, and that is as guilty. Ah, oh, my day. Somebody here says somebody was assassinated instead of the media to say it was. See, wait, yeah, somebody was assassinated instead of the media to say. It as it is, they are now using the term unknown gunmen, knowing fully well that it will shift the attention of people and cause tribal arguments. Any assassination in the East is not translated as unknown gunmen. Very true, because then, again, as I said, it now leaves Nigerians to start filling in the gap and start saying, who is this? It could be this person. And then the whole conversation then switches. And we don't even try to absorb or pressure the government to find out who the perpetrators of these acts are. And then we just all fall for it every single time. The conversation is always changing. Somebody says this must be the handwork of enemies of Indigo who are doing everything to keep Indigo as Nigerians. They are sickly bringing killings to the land, but God will expose them. All right. Um, someone says, what is the meaning of all this rubbish? Um, we're just wasting those that are supposed to make this country great. All right, so I said, this man is my director, a very kind man, so kind to a fault. Hmm. Sadie Enugu is in deep pain. This is absolutely sad, but yeah. Put what you think about it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe.